We continue the tournament, ladies and gentlemen, with a special teenage contest. In the blue corner, it's a pleasure to introduce to you a boy from the same wrestling academy as the Dynamite Kid. He's still at school, ladies and gentlemen, and Britain's youngest wrestler, Dave Boysmith, at 15 years old. And in the red corner, ladies and gentlemen, 17 years old, Bernard Wright. Six three-minute rounds, ladies and gentlemen, one fall, one KO to decide the winner. So, this is another first on television. A six three-minute round contest, one fall, six three-minute rounds. And it's uh, the first time on television we've had one of these teenage contests, teenage lightweight in this case, Dave Boy Smith from Goldborn, Lancashire, at 15 years old, giving away a few years and a, a couple of pounds to the Warrington boy, Bernie Wright. Round one. Seems a little bit of hesitation here as to whether it's a one-four contest or a two-four contest, but uh, the MC has got to check with the promoter, Max Crabtree. Anyway, the light trunks here, light trunks on your black and white set. If you have one, it's got uh, there's the Bernie Wright from Warrington. The younger boy, he's, he's only 17 years old. Last October, <laughs> so he's nearly 18 now. But uh, Dave Boy Smith, 15 in November of 1977, so on his way to mere 16, and the youngest follower we've ever seen, I think, on television in the ring. And you can see by some of his escape moves, he's starting to show already. He's a cousin, of course, of the Dynamite Kid. He comes from the same stable, trainer Ted Beckley stable, and uh, he's already beginning to show it. Yes, that one too, that's a Dynamite Kid escape. Nice drop kick. When he pulls out, he could be very dangerous. Incidentally, the dynamite kid himself, his cousin, is doing very well abroad at the moment in Canada. It is definitely a two-fall contest, the best of three falls. Nice weapon he holds onto the web, does the boy. Very neat by the Bernie Wright, the Goldborn, the Warrington boy, too. How many of you Grapple fans remember Steve Wright from the same stable? Ted Beckley. A tremendous find he was. He's grown a lot in weight now since he's been abroad. He's over in Germany at the moment, I think. Steve Wright. Well, this is the younger of the Wright brothers. Bernie. Bernie, the Light trunks, about 40 seconds to go in this first round of six. And of course, like the teenage bouts, teenage with lightweight contest, all of three minutes. Yes, lovely cross button clear by right. Referee, of course, by the way, in this case, he didn't get him, it's Brian Crabtree. And right on the bell of round one. Hey! So let's take. Uh, by the way, he won't, won't turn around, will he? Just won't turn around. The kid, Dave Boy Smith from Goldborn in Lancashire, 15 last November, 10 stone one in weight, and uh, he's been in the unpaid ranks since he was 13 years old at the Winnie Crossley Club. Turned pro in May of this year. So quite a newcomer to the game. Second away, round two. And of course he's up against a comparative newcomer too, a 17 year old Bernie Wright. So there's not too much difference in it. But, uh, Max Crabtree has put them 
opposite each other to really get more or less set their sights on this pro wrestling business. And it's great to see these youngsters on television occasionally. It proves that Max and other promoters in joint promotions have got quite a few youngsters coming up to replace the big names or to add to the big names. Oh yes, great throw, Sigmaster. That is a beaut. Now that you can't have a speciality at this time of his career, but that is something that you don't often see in the ring. It's a single-footed stomach throw, right? Not a time, but takes him sideways right across the ring. Very impressive. I hope he does that once again. Oh, and he came up a little bit low, but no, in the stomach. Three, four, five, six. Yes, there it is again, taking the boy sideways. Mind you, I don't know if you can do it against a man as, as heavy or heavier than he is. A follow of 10 stone one, he's doing it very successfully indeed. Low, clutch hold and body slam. So, one and a half minutes to go in this uh, second round. And the leg spread by Bernie Wright. <laughs> well, I don't know if that was a grin at the ringside seaters, but he certainly looked like he had a grin on his face. He certainly tried to distract the attention of his opponent. And was successful. He's doing it again. Yes, he is. He's, he's making a sign. <laughs> and twice Bernie Wright has been unable to resist turning around to see it. And, of course, has been caught in the leg spread himself. <laughs> No point in going on with that one. We're both losing it. Bad landing on the right leg. 25 seconds to go. Round two. Toe and ankle to right. Vicious. Turns and right. A little bit angled, I think, by that uh, right leg trouble he had. So just five seconds. A little bit late for that lift. So let's have a look at Bernie Wright. Looking at that right knee after that crash he had on it. Bernie Wright from Warrington. 17 years old, October last year, 11 stone exactly, also of course his first time on television, and a year and a half at the Winning Wrestling Club, along with his opponent here this afternoon. Turned pro in July of last year, so quite an old hand by comparison to his 15-year-old opponent. Second away, round three. Round three, four rounds to go, all of three minutes, remember. Two falls, two submissions or a knockout to decide this part. Well, uh, an airplane spin from this age, from a young couple like this, especially the 15-year-old dishing it out, probably giving himself up a little bit much there. I think he's probably sorry he laid that one on. <laughs> Both of them looking a bit aghast at that one. Don't know who came off worse there, really. Yes, yes, perfectly legal. The instep. Attacked by the front shoulder, slammed by right, by um, Dave Boy on right, and another one. Well, you can see how useful these two are going to be very soon. If they become anything like their uh, mentors in the shape of uh, Steve Wright, in Bernie's case, and of course, Dynamite Kid. And Dave Boy. Smith's case. The next bout they get on television will probably both of them be against a more experienced man, and we'll see how they stand up. Halfway through this third round now. Bernie 
right trying this triangle. Second time he's done. And a try, third attempt for this time. Caught in a double arm by Bernie Wright, neatly over the top, and it's a shoulder press for sure. One fall up, Bernie Wright, the heavier of the two. There's two minutes in the round three. Ladies and gentlemen, in the third round, from a backdrop to a double shoulder press, a pin fall, and first fall in favour of Bernard Wright. Bernard, that's his full name. <laughs> he told me it was Bernie in the dressing room. Anyway, Bernie Wright gets the first fall. He's a boy who trains with cycling, weights, swimming and running, quite, and horseback riding is one of his favourite hobbies. Second away, round four. Round four, three to go, and still Bernie Wright, remember, in the darker trunks. No, I beg you, on your black and white screen, it'll probably be like black hair and lighter trunks. Bernie Wright, leading by one fall. Five, two, three, eight, Certainly the, uh, slightly the heavier, by 13 pounds. I'm not sure there's much difference in the height. It's very difficult to tell these two apart unless their trunks show up. about Bernie Wright, the fellow who's got that uh, hold on now and placing his man outside the ring. Yeah, helping him in, two gentlemen. There's the shiny trunks, even if they're not very much darker, are worn by Dave Boy Smith. And Dave Boy Smith getting up now, it's one fall in a ribs here. Yes, your force got him over then. Not really put on the hard. And his name just couldn't get his balance made there. There's a lack of experience, of course. Why shouldn't it? 15. And he only lost the others avoided that one nicely. A little bit too long telegraphing that Bernie Wright. Dave Boyd just wasn't there when it landed. Paul Nelson now. And halfway through the bout. Still in the back, now. that's not bad. Almost completed the slam, too. Into the ropes, no, not quite. Hold, holding him off. He gets a 2 0 win if he gets this. No, into the ropes. Yes, he forces him away. And we've seen uh, Dynamite Kid do that. George Kid do that. And it looks as though Dave Boy Smith is going to use that. Rolling himself up there with a ball so that no limbs are free to attack. Yes, that's a beauty around the back of the neck. That, and not a very good landing on that uh, right knee of Dave. Boy Smith there. Half a minute to go in this fourth round. Double for the interlock. Posting the hardest one we've had yet. Yes, nice backdrop over the side there, the shoulder. Five seconds in the fourth. <laughs> Bernie, Dave Boy Smith there. You notice how quickly he let go when that bell went. I hope he always does that. It's like some wrestlers, uh, when they get experienced, don't always do. Dave Boy certainly did. Dave Boy incidentally can press 140 pounds, which is not bad for a weightlifter of his size and age. Second away, round five. Round five, two rounds to go. And still Dave Boy Smith in the shiny trunks. There he is standing up, having delivered that slam. Trailing by the one four. Gage in the third. Bernie Wright nearly had a 2 0 win here by a folding press, but too near the ropes. Dave Boy lives again. 
Yes, Butte. Oh, but he caught almost landed on his feet from it. Unlucky. He could have really had him if he'd come back quickly there. So nearly did. Back shot to the face, I think. It meant for the throat, but I think he's got the face. Dave didn't like it too much. Switch. Oh, yeah, caught him there. No, he didn't like it too much. So he delivered one of his own. to go, Bernie right up neatly from that one. one four, put his stomach throw again, which is the ring with it. Three, four, five, and I don't think that Brian Crabtree, the referee here this afternoon, has ever had so little to do in a wrestling contest. As far as warnings are concerned, less than a minute to go now in the fifth. Yes, yes, caught his man with it, and if he holds it, he can get a folder there, and he's got it. Very neat little move. Excellent. So Dave Boy Smith, the boy with the shiny trunks there, on the right. Two minutes, 15 seconds into round five, gets the equalizing fold. One each. And one round to go. In round five, ladies and gentlemen, with a counter to the victory roll, a pinfall and equalizer to Dave Boysmith. Yes, it was. It was an inverted victory roll. Very neatly spotted that by uh, Neil Sol. Very neat move and very neatly spotted by the MC. So one fall each, one round to go. Any second, the bell to start the fight. In the way, sixth and final round. Shake hands, come out fighting. Not so often you see them do that. Full Nelson now, Bernie Wright. Yes, there's that move again of Wright's. A killer, that one, that uh, single footed stomach throw. It really is fast. You gonna try it again? No. Yes, he is. Full of turns in mid-air. It's a curious move. Really effective. So that's his speciality, all right. Already at, not 18 yet. The speciality is it's not bad in your first year as a pro. Oh, I missed it. Try to get the shoulders with him, but missed. Well, he's rolled up in that ball again. Oh, yes. Oh, he missed it this time, and the ball he pressed, but into the locks. Nearly got the arch right then. Halfway through the final round, one for each. And you get a result of these two. And <laughs> both, both ends being counted. <laughs> and they must agree to disagree on that. And it's called a stalemate. No one getting anywhere from that at all. Look the way Dave Boyce flanks around the back, going for a full Nelson. So does Bernie do that. One minute to go in this bout. Holding press with the arms. He missed the arms again, and he went, he's going right through the ropes anyway with his legs. Well, it's certainly been a, a fight with a difference this to see these two teenagers really go. I know so many people write in saying, can't we see some new youngsters coming up? Well, here they are this afternoon. Well, you're right. Dave Boysmith, 25 seconds to go in this bout. Trying to cross press now, but he surely hasn't got the weight for that now. It's been another few years before he has sufficient weight to operate that one, I think. Stomach butt, good. 
Bernie Wright maybe has the edge, but Dave Boyd Wright came back last time. Dave Boyd uh, Smith came back last time, so anything can happen. On the bell now, it's too late. It's going to be a draw, which is a pretty fair result for their first television appearance. 140. And a great hand from a sporting crowd here for these two youngsters. I'm sure we're going to see a lot more of both of them. Ladies and gentlemen, after a contest that you've just seen now between these two talented teenagers, what better uh, decision could your referee give but a draw?